Yeah, so major misconceptions that I would say a lot of homeowners have right now are just you know, the overall price of solar or just upfront costs. That's a huge one that we run into and finances are always going to be tight. So the idea is that if we can make solar, you know, just an easy transition from Ameren or your power company, which is continuously increasing and putting that money towards something that has an actual end date, that's a huge you know, difference and a lot of homeowners just aren't aware of that. Another thing is uh, there's just an unfamiliarity with it. With uh, solar five years ago, it wasn't prominent and uh, you just didn't see it as much. And with these incentives that have rolled out, uh, people are getting a huge uh, return on this within a very, very short period of time. And so the ROI on these systems is phenomenal right now, which is why you're able to see it, you know, become so big. But uh, again, there's, you know, certain states out on the West Coast or, you know, New Jersey where it kind of popped off. There, there's huge amounts of solar there and we're, we're solely making our impact to make our state look like that. But there's lots of mandates that are currently rolling out that uh, we don't really have a choice at this point. It's more so uh, go solar or sink or swim type of ordeal. So we're doing the best we can to help everyone.